and not questioning things. Um, you know, as a coach, you can sense things when you come in. You can feel it when you know you're you're seeing negativity and, and head down. And um, that wasn't the case at all going into this game. I felt very confident that we would play real hard and have a good chance to win because of the way we responded to this adversity. And um, I'm very proud of them for, for not only executing the game plan, but down the stretch, really working hard as they hit shots. And they did a great job as well. I got to give them a lot of credit for battling. But um, I'm really proud of how you know this game went and how we earned the victory. We finished the game. Well, we were <laughs> we were just talking coming into the into the conference room. We were just talking about the drills that we did this this last day. We had one day to get ready for this game, and we knew it was something we were going to have to be better at, which is get, kicking the ball out from the post and playing off the post. As a post a player, you're not just a scorer or a rebounder; you're also a passer. And our post did a great job. Of uh, we had like one or two little hiccups where they they got to us and jammed us a bit and caused a turnover, but. Uh, we passed the ball at a post real well, and then obviously when you do that, you got to be ready to knock it down. And Becky was really great on being loaded and ready. I always say you got to load your weapon before the ball gets there. And she was loaded and locked in, and um, it just felt really good to see that ball going so clean. Rebecca, you finished with 17 points. You had a couple of big threes down the stretch. Obviously, when I was in the lead. How have you seen your game develop sort of throughout this season? Um, well, like Coach said, we were just talking about it when we were coming over. Um, I feel like, well, personally, I've been like in a slump, like shooting wise. So it felt good to like get back into the rhythm, and it's just like we just practice every day. It's not like we put the work in, so it feels good. To, like it shows, you know. Everything seemed to really come together. I know free throw shooting has also been a little bit of a problem, but 15 of 17 from the line, over 88 percent. That also has to be satisfying. We we worked hard this week. I mean, we didn't we didn't went up at Youngstown. We did some things wrong as a coach. I reflected on maybe the way we kind of told them about strategies and maybe there was some confusion and it, we didn't play our best basketball especially down the stretch at Youngstown we we competed they're a good team but um, we had some things we could have done a lot better and we had one day to fix those and um, we did not take it easy I mean we didn't have a, a very slow and and uh, restful day yesterday it was more keep ourselves hungry get after it um, the edge that we have from this practice is going to mean a lot and uh, they work to get this win and so a lot of the things that we fixed, especially the free throws, um, has to do with shooting them when you're tired, shooting the ball when you're tired. You know, you don't take free throws rested very often. You know, down the stretch, you're a little bit more rested when they're fouling like that. We knocked those ones down. Those were big. But the ones in the middle of the game where you just went up and down, up and down, up and down, then you get a foul call and you got to get to the line, get your wind and shoot it when you're tired. That's really what we worked on is shooting them when they're tired. Well, you know, how you how you score is very important, not just, you know, rack up points. I mean, her nine points were instrumental down the stretch. And down the stretch, we had to execute and continue to stay confident as they hit shots. They hit three in the corner. They, they you know, I got to give Turner credit. She did a great job of, you know, going hard to the basket and finishing um, over a long player like uh, Vulicic. And so Danny did, you know, what she could, and she still was very tough guard for her. But... Um, they were scoring and they hit shots and we had to finish the game. And so keeping our pace up and playing free down the stretch was very, very important. It was not an isolation type game down the stretch for us offensively. And I really felt we stayed very connected and, and we worked hard to get the win. We worked hard to finish the game. So uh, I would say that you know this game, the way we finished, was the way that we want to finish games. Rebecca, you guys moved the ball, I thought, extremely well today. Uh, despite the losses that were in the past, uh, what's sort of the mindset after coming into today to try and get this win? Just keep pushing, like, keep working. We know what we're capable of, so it's just keep working and just go walk up and again. Okay, so Anything else from either of you? I just want to say, you know, um, when, you, when you go through a losing streak like this, um, you know, your circle, like our team that come to practice every day, the circle of people that know how hard we work and, and, and what we're trying to accomplish is the most important thing uh, that we can focus on. And, um, 
you know, like I said, I was very proud of how we stayed together. I, I checked in with them about it. We talked about it. I did a, a lot of talking about things that we got to handle. And um, I could just say going down in my career, it's one of the most proud victories I could say we had because of how we battled adversity. And we, we took the storm head on. You know, I, I was listening to a, a podcast. And um, in the podcast, they talked about, you know, the animal, the buffalo. I'm from Buffalo, so I kind of, you know, right away, I, I was like, oh, the buffalo. Um, they talked about buffalo being a unique animal, how when a storm is coming, they run to the storm, not away from it. And um, we knew this storm was coming today, and we had to run to it. And I used that to let them know that, you know, be a buffalo today. Go right after the storm. Don't run away from it. It's coming, and we got to be strong to, to meet it head on, even the, with the fact that we haven't tasted a win in a while. Continue. I always say knock on the door, and sooner or later that door is going to open. And today it opened, and we finished the game well, and I'm very proud of them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.